The Tracer Pack Supernova Bundle has finally released for Modern Warfare 3, and it's pretty nutty. The first thing you get is the Galactic Mind Skin for Pathfinder, and there's just a lot going on with this. Then we've got the Northern Light Sidewinder Blueprint, which looks like it has Interstellar on it, coming with Galactic Tracers and Vortex Dismemberment. A little bit of a preview there. Uh, then we've got a Calling Card, a Large Decal, a Weapon Charm, and an Emblem. We're going to fully test out this bundle. We're going to test everything about the skin, the weapon with camos. Then we're going to take into the zombies and pack a punch. If you want to see any more bundle reviews like this in the future, make sure to unlock the subscribe button. Here's the Galactic Mind Skin endgame. It is just season one, and we're already getting super space operators. It's got a galaxy halo on the top of the head. The headgear is this Damascus reflective property. The face is just, just space. Just the visor is just space. Uh, on the chest, you've got this portal looking thing. However, the frame rate on this is kind of low. Not a big fan of that. I wish it was smooth like the galaxy that they have on the head. Uh, there's Damascus shiny holsters, knee pads, arms. The back's a little bit more bland and it, it has this weird blue outline. You can see that right there. That's not a wire as you move. That is the outline of the operator it moves with it, which I guess could give your position away a little bit. However, as you go farther back, that outline isn't what's noticeable. It's the uh, the giant galaxy halo above your head. It's that acts almost as like a target. Like, hey, hey, shoot right here. <laughs> oh, it doesn't go away when you die. You still get uh, the, the galaxy just spinning around on the top of your. Th this is. This is ridiculous. This is a season one skin, bro. Now let's see the skin in a darker area and it does give away your position a little bit. The body, not so much. Once again, it's really that glowing galaxy halo. That, uh, it really does straight up just put a target on your head. Even darker corner and yeah, now you can start to see the dark matter glowing bits a little bit more and yeah, if you're trying to play super competitively, you probably don't want to use this skin. However, you're just playing casually or you're just playing in zombies. It, it's not going to matter too much. But regardless, this skin looks so much cooler in the dark. The headgear is lighter. The galaxy looks like it's got more detail on it. The headgear, the chest piece, the sides of it. That reminds me of DM Ultra a little bit. Uh, the blue outline is more noticeable in a dark area too. There's just, there's just so much going on with this skin. There's like nine things that make it ridiculous. It's hard to even point out what's the most ridiculous part. Is it the portal, the face, the the headgear, the dark matter stuff, the galaxy on top of it. This bundle, unfortunately, didn't come with a finishing move, but I really want to see this operator skin perform some. So we're going to try out some random ones. This is the flexed upon finishing move from the Black Cell Battle Pass. Too easy. Again. Oh, what the? Should have been more careful. Headshot and down. Now let's give the galaxy skin laser eyes. Should have been more careful. Honestly, kind of fitting. All right, sorry, Nikki. Has to happen. Too easy. It almost looks like an advanced being that just has laser eye abilities. Now let's give her light superpowers. This one's even better on this skin. This one honestly is perfect. Out of all the finishing moves, I don't think one fits it better than just giving it the ability of just light. Now let's perform a finisher on the Galaxy Operator. Now let's test out the Northern Light Sidewinder Blueprint, and this looks a lot like the MP Mastery Camo Interstellar. If you showed them side by side, people could probably spot the difference, but other than that, people might get these confused for one another. It's got a gradient on it. It starts with like a light blue, then ends up in space. Uh, no sight on it, but uh, it does have an underbarrel flamethrower. Unfortunately, flamethrower doesn't have any special tracers or effects on it. See it in a darker environment. And yeah, it starts to look way cooler. This thing's gonna look insane when we take it in zombies. And keep in mind, this is a blueprint, not a camo. So when we put camos on this, it, is it gonna stack or I don't know, let's see what happens. Here's the MP gold camo and it's pretty unique. You get to see some of the light up parts with the camo still on it. Then if we take it in the dark, it reveals the rest of the galaxy bits. Oh cool, it seems like all the camos do that on this blueprint. Here's the MP forge camo and once again, take it in the dark reveals the galaxy. This is the priceless camo and it looks really intense. This reminds me more of like a nebula now that it's got the pink parts in it. Here's interstellar. So now we're doubling up on the space camos and all it really seemed to do was make it 
even darker. Here's the zombies gold camo, and it's pretty interesting. The zircon scale camo looks pretty nice. Here's the serpentinite camo. The ghoulie camo on it is crazy. Dude, there's gonna be so many unique combinations with this weapon. I wish we could test out all the camos, but there's like 900 camos in this game, and I'm sure there's a few of them that just look ridiculous. Now for a lighter camo, and this adds a completely different look to it. You can barely see the galaxy stuff, but it's still there. Then in the dark, it shows up, but it's still got that white hue to it. I don't know. I, I kind of like it with the lighter style camos. Now let's quickly just hover over some of the camos that we did in loading game. The event camos look pretty cool. The high contrast add a really nice effect. The different swirls blend in really well. Uh, these don't have much of effect. What about the solid camos? The solid camos work pretty well on this blueprint. Same thing with the wavelength camos. These look pretty cool. You get that double glowing effect. Yo, bro, what? You know, we're not even gonna unpack that. Now let's test out the galactic tracers that come on this blueprint. So shooting up in the sky, it's just a purple tracer, but the muzzle flash effect is really cool. It's a quick little flash of purple. Uh, the impact effects, oh, wait, there's different colors. So there's a purple and blue one, and then there's one that's got a little bit of yellow in it, or maybe, is the green one just rare? Yeah, there's like a, a rare different one for the impact effect. So usually it's the blue and purple, and then occasionally, occasionally you'll get that green and orange one which that's kind of cool I'm, I'm surprised they gave it different odds because it is very clear that the uh, blue and purple one shows up more than that one all right okay let's see it in the dark oh that muzzle flash is way more noticeable in the dark look at that all right we're not even shooting at full auto yet you know for being the first new tracer bundle to release in modern warfare 3 this is absolutely killer usually the first few tracer bundles in a game Pretty basic, you know, just a normal color tracer, but these are galactic tracers and they definitely feel galactic. Now for the fun part, let's test out the custom hit marker and death effects on these tracers. So if you shoot an enemy, yeah, you get the same hit. Wait, actually, is it bigger? I think it is bigger when you shoot an enemy. So there it is on the ground. Shoot an enemy for the hit marker. It's just a bigger version of the impact effect. Now let's see what happens when we kill an enemy with these weapons. What the? Oh, they delete into like a galaxy vortex oh. bro that's pretty fire is there any difference for a headshot so if we get a headshot does it change no no it doesn't but um you know i'm gonna slow this down i want to see this tracer in slow-mo so let's take someone out and we're gonna slow it down in editing They just turn into like a galaxy person and then they just delete. Um, love these death effects. Absolutely love these death effects. Here it is in a darker area, a little bit more noticeable. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna say for the first tracer bundle of this game, um, they, they kind of killed it. The weapon looks fire. The death effects look fire. The tracers look fire. You get a teleport. You get a teleport. You get a teleport and you get a teleport. Where you're going, I don't know, nor do I care. But you went somewhere, just not here. <laughs> Wait a minute, does the flamethrower have death effects? Oh, that would be sick. Imagine if the flamethrower also had the same tracers as when you shot someone. That that, that would have been sick, but unfortunately not the case. Just uh, just a normal fire. Just 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 normal fire. Just just normal fire. Here's the infinite mind charm that comes in the bundle. It's pretty unique. It's like a little tiny cute mini version of the operator skin that comes in the bundle. However, the little halo above it is way bigger. This is what happens when you take all the attachments off the weapon. So keep this in mind if you plan on customizing the attachments. Yeah, this blueprint, ooh, when you take the attachments off, it starts to look real ugly real quick. You do get to keep a little bit of the space stuff but most of it goes. But you do get to keep the tracers. The only way you're gonna lose the tracers is if you change the ammo type on the weapon. Well, that's Nightmare Fuel. This is the Pathfinder skin preview in Zombies. It looks nothing like the skin. You can see we have the skin on. This is what it looks like in the menu. But if you go to gear to edit your character, uh, this is the preview icon you get, which um, if you haven't noticed, doesn't look anything like the skin. It doesn't have hair or a halo. It appears to be naked, but at the same time, it's also not naked because it's got a cloth here and it doesn't have eyeballs and it doesn't look like the body parts match up at all. You know, um, hopefully that gets fixed because that's a little bit, um, you know, it's a little bit scary and I'm not sure how this is supposed to be that. This blueprint appears to be a little bit broken in zombies. I've loaded it in a couple different times now and every time we do, the stock comes off of it and we need the stock on to get the galaxy part of it. So this is uh, in the current state of the game, how this blueprint looks when you load it in. Now let's test out the tracers and zombies. Oh my, the muzzle flash in zombies is crazy noticeable. You are not gonna, can you, 
Can you, can you not, zombie? Yeah, even when you ADS, look at how bright that muzzle flash is. That is, um, yeah, it's, it's very vibrant. All right, excuse me, heading into the dark. And then the blueprint cranks up the dial to 10 when you take it in a dark area. That is, whew, even, even the muzzle flash. You know, a lot of these flashy blueprints just feel so much cooler in zombies because of how dark the skybox is. Okay, since we've got a lot of zombies here, let's test out the death effect in zombies. And actually, it appears to be working. Hold on. Part of the death effect works. It's a little bit weird. So the impact effects work. And when the zombies die, there's a giant flash of light. But they don't get that teleportation, like, like transforming effect that happens when you take out someone in MP. They just get a flash of light. Now let's find some hellhounds because weirdly enough, the death effects usually work on hellhounds and zombies. And this isn't something that just happens with this blueprint. A lot of tracers and zombies don't work on zombies. They only work on mercenaries and hellhounds. So that's not exclusively an issue to this blueprint. It's just something very common. A lot of bundles have issues in zombies. It's something I've realized as we've tested out more and more things. Oh, oh, there's a hellhound. All right, here we go. So now if you come over here. All right, yep, yep. All right, Fluffy. Yeah, right here, bud. Whoa. So it did work. However, it seemed to be really messed up because the animation they made was meant to be for a human. It kind of looked like the body parts were just all over the place. All right, here's another dog. So let's see what happens when he teleports. Yeah, um, it's, it's just a bunch of body parts all over the place, which kind of makes sense because they aren't going to make the animation different for every model type in zombies. So it just takes the human model and puts all the body parts together. So it, it's kind of dumb that it works on dogs, but not zombies. At least it kind of works on zombies. We'll take that. What is this luck? So I wanted to show off the different stages of Pack-a-Punch. So we just did a contract and not only did it give us a tier one Pack-a-Punch crystal, it also gave us a tier two Pack-a-Punch crystal. All right, so here goes nothing. Go ahead, slap a tier one Pack-a-Punch on it. And, hmm, you know, not my favorite combination we've seen on this, but at least you can tell it's Pack-a-Punch and you can still tell it's a blueprint at the end of the day. All right, let's go ahead, put the tier two on it. That looks a lot cooler in my opinion. You can only, can you see the texture of the Pack-a-Punch underneath it? You can, it's really, really weird, but interesting at the same time. All right, zombies, you gotta go, you gotta go. You gotta get teleported to a different dimension. You gotta, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. This skin looks really good in third person. You still get that galaxy halo. You get to see a lot more of the cloth. And dude, I gotta start playing zombies in third person more. We've got all these crazy ultra skins and you can only really admire them in zombies when you're uh, chilling out in third person. And we also, wait, we didn't check out the hands for this operator. So let's go into a uh, area here and we've just got dark ether hands. We, we just, we just dark, dark matter hands. I didn't realize how much dark matter was on our hands, but um we almost look a little bit chrome like like this uh oh uh, yeah you, you can't tell this when you're holding a weapon but when you're inspecting the hands they are all galaxies just just pure galaxy hands all right let's take out bots and zombies do these get vaporized into the shadow realm oh they do and it looks normal like unlike the dog oh i wish it did this to zombies i'm so disappointed hello okay I'm so disappointed a lot of the tracers don't work against zombies because if we did this to every zombie we killed, insane. Instead, that's what happens when you take out zombies. <gasps> There's a sniper up top. Oh, you're going to get vanquished. You're going to get vanquished. I hate to break it to you, bud, but you're not going to be here much longer. Hi, sniper. And shadow round. Gone. Teleported. So next order of business, we've got to get enough money to get this tier three pack. So contract time. All right, risky moves here. Have no self revive. I am just here to test out the third tier of pack a punch. No stamina up either. Yep. All right. Um, come on, please, please put this in here. Thank you very much. Now we've got the max out pack a punch version. Now let's get our butt out of here. No, 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 dog. Make that great escape. Make that escape, Lego. Prison break. Look at that. We're outy. We're outy. Got in. Quick little pack-a-punch. And we are out. Here is the tier three pack-a-punch version. And out of all the pack-a-punches on this, uh, tier three looks the best. The purple fits the galaxy more than the other ones. But yeah, with that, I think we're going to wrap up this bundle review here. Overall, I think this is probably the single best bundle that has been released for Modern Warfare 3 so far. And it's also ch way cheaper than the other ones. The Ethereum skin is cool because it's like an Ultra skin, but it doesn't come with Tracer weapons. And in my opinion, this Ultra skin is just as cool and it has, you know, a Tracer weapon. The Ethereum skin is 2,800 COD points. This is only 1,800 COD points. So out of all the bundles, I'm not saying this one's worth it, 
but this is the best value bundle out of any bundle that's currently in modern warfare 3. not only does it come with a sick ultra skin it comes with a sick weapon really the only downside is it is a little bit buggy in zombies and you don't get all the correct attachments and it's for the sidewinder and i know a lot of people aren't a huge fan of the sidewinder it would have been a little bit cooler if the blueprint was for you know a more usable more competitive weapon but hey at least the blueprint looks cool so let me know how you feel about this bundle and how you feel about the value proposition of this bundle being priced at 1800 cod points if you want to see more bundle reviews like this in the future make sure to unlock the subscribe button have a great day peace lego unlocked he's lego unlocked it's going to unlock all these camels